Although I'm 59 years old, I'm still an adolescent in my heart. And I think we all are. Meg Rosoff believes in young people. She believes in their ability to solve problems. Her main characters struggle with identity, sexuality, and anxiety about the future. He looked impossibly familiar, like a fantasy version of myself, with the face I'd always hoped would look back at me from the mirror. The bright, flickering quality of his skin reminded me of the surface of the sea. He was almost unbearably beautiful, and I had to turn away, overcome with pleasure and longing, and a realization of life's desperate unfairness. The main characters find themselves in situations they haven't chosen, searching for meaning in the strange, dark, and sometimes bizarre world around them. If you haven't been in a war, and you're wondering how long it takes to get used to losing everything you think you need or love, I can tell you the answer is no time at all. Despite the common theme, no story is ever the same. A friend? I don't hate Suzanne, but I can't bring myself to like her either. She's one of these people who thinks that because I'm young, I'm blind to what's true and what's not. I see her far more clearly than she sees me. Perhaps more clearly than she sees herself. It is existential and full of insight and very humorous. And that's not an opposite to darkness. My meeting with Lucy's mother went well. I think she liked me. Though, I don't suppose it matters really. I'm God, she's not. I don't have to ask her anything. I'm just trying to do things the right way. Be polite, for Lucy's sake. Actually, to be perfectly honest, I don't give a damn if she approves or not. And let's not forget the animals. Fictive or not, they are important. The reality and the supernatural often slides into one another, and the limits between animals and humans can be very unclear. How was school, darling? Hell. What about your classes? Torture. And your friends? Scum. David, love, tell me. Can you tell the difference between dog and God? What a bizarre question. He had never known his mother to possess a metaphysical bent. Dog, God, he wasn't at all sure he could tell the difference. Meg Rosoff advises her readers to be the biggest, the best, the most compassionate, the most interesting, the most generous person you can be. Meg Rosoff's brave and humorous stories are one of a kind. She is the laureate of the Astrid Lindgren Memorial Award 2016.